PDP mocks Bimini governor for paying workers one month salaries. The People's Democratic Party in Benue State has criticized Governor Hyacinth Alia for only paying one month salary, suggesting that he should have utilized the slush funds available to him to clear salary and pension areas as promised during the 2023 campaigns. Governor Alia had announced on Democracy Day that civil servants would receive salary alerts when due starting from June 25th. However, the PDP and its supporters took to social media to mock the administration and expressed their disappointment as employees anxiously waited or awaited their salary payments. Nevertheless, salary alerts began to be sent to the employees on Sunday night and continued to be sent at the time of this statement. Ben Balortium, the state publicity secretary of the PDP, questioned why only some workers received one month's pay and demanded that the state government pay all workers for at least four months. He stated that the governor, who is currently leading a government without a cabinet, has revealed substantial funds or has received substantial funds into the state's treasury from the federal statutory allocation, stamp duty, and debt swans, debt swap accruals. The PDP had expected the governor to prioritize the settlement of employee salaries and pension areas using these funds, which the previous administration of Samuel Autumn had met all due diligence standards for accessing. According to the PDP's investigation, Governor Leah succumbed to pressure from the party and ordered the payment of one month's salary late last night instead of on the 25th of every month as he had planned and promised. However, only employees in a small number of ministries have received credit alerts from the government thus far. It was agreed that the governor would pay areas owed to employees for four months at once with the assurance that it would be done by June 25th. That is actually quite embarrassing. I mean, what? But the thing is, I don't understand how the PDP in Benue is mocking it's a political party and it's actually very interesting. Um, it now depends what party Governor Hyacinth belongs to because that is personally very strange for the PDP rather than actually giving advice on what to do, which they actually did, um, but in mocking the governor and saying, oh, you haven't been able to pay when you exist in a system that promotes and glorifies that which funds the lifestyle of the politicians that are in your party. So please, let's not act like as if, you know, we are all perfect here. But again, it also does not mean um, that leaders should not be held accountable, especially when it comes to paying workers. Well, Alia is less than a month in office and has been... Alia is less than a month in office has able to pay one month's full salary that could that PDP could not pay in Samuel Autumn's administration of eight years. Okay? Well, this Reverend Father has destroyed his name for joining the evil APC. Um, the PDP doesn't have any shame. The money you hold for seven months and someone is paying and you get your mouth to talk as a party. Do you think we're fools and we don't have brains? Hmm. Well, there is no need to criticize him because there was no time he promised to pay four salaries at once. And it's a handover to a new administration. The former administration should have taken care of everything, tied up the loose ends before handing over. It's like you're literally handing over problems to whoever is taking, from, taking over from you. So it means the person starting can't start on a balanced um, position they have to literally go 
under to get them to a place of you know balance and then starts to build on a foundation but when you're when you give someone so much responsibility that they start to sink or they have to sink before they can come up come on now is that responsible so rather than putting the pressure of course as a new administration you know saying you're going to pay you know four month salaries old in one month as in all at once come on that's a lot How many months salary did uh, PDP's autumn pay? But that's the thing. It's like we don't have records of it. And because people may not be as... People are bothered, of course. They need their money. But in terms of outrage and what it should spark, I think because Nigerians have been disappointed, you just let it slide and you just find a way to survive. Literally, because you know, with the government payment, you start to think of it. And you're like, you know what? There's no point even trying to cause problems when I know this person or this party or this government would pay me my money, please. PDP should be ashamed of themselves. You didn't pay workers for seven months. Another person came and I just paid a month. It should be commended. It should not be commended. It is expected. I don't know why people want to receive applauses for things that they should do. And it's their responsibility. Literally, it is your duty. It's literally part of your job description. I don't understand. That is why you are there. Well, they have started breaking campaign promises. Typical. I mean, campaign promises are basically just decoration for for whatever they're saying. It's literally just decoration. There's nothing that really makes it stand out, to be honest. Um. Anyways, put what you think about this in the comment section below. And do not forget to like and subscribe.